Inside Science TV. The backstroke, the butterfly, or freestyle. With every move, these swimmers are creating potential energy that Wake Forest sophomore Yinger Eagle Jin says can be used as a source of electrical power. The water level is kind of like moving up and down. Jin installed and tested this device, which uses energy from swimmers' waves to push air into a tube, which turns the blades of a turbine. The turbine spins a magnet surrounded by coils of wire in the tube to create electricity. Air pushes the turbine to generate the energy. The pool is open 10 hours and about 10 people swim each hour. Jin and mathematician Sarah Mason calculated that if each person swam the butterfly stroke, they would generate enough waves to power one 100-watt light bulb for a day. You're basically using the waves to create wind. Soon, Jin hopes to test the technique on a much larger scale, the ocean. Yeah, the power of ocean, uh, ocean is, I think, is pretty underused. I'm really excited about the potential of wave energy. Wave energy is more consistent than other sources, such as wind. And because oceans cover more than 70% of the Earth, it's an abundant and sustainable option. So it could be a really powerful uh, source of energy for this country. Here's hoping it's a source that'll be the wave of the future. I'm Josh Lubowitz reporting. Inside Science TV. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on the web and social media. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.